this idea that you know, part of the basic dynamic of capitalism is turning hard to measure and impossible to measure things into easy to measure things, and that therefore the story which it tells, the story which the newspapers and the politicians tell of whether things are getting better or worse in terms of growth, is always in tension with lived experience, because in our lived experience we're feeling the loss of the hard to measure and impossible to measure things, and that's invisible from the point of view of the economic growth statistics. Now, economics tends to treat culture, which is a term which might be used very loosely to refer to the hard to measure and the impossible to measure, as something which sits on top of the solid bedrock of economic reality. So economic reality is the hard stuff, and then culture, the cultural and the social, is the soft stuff which sits on top of this. And mainstream economics and much of Marxist um, sort of critical economics has tended to share that assumption that what economics is doing is finding a sort of set of laws of physics that refer to a harder pre-cultural um, sort of non-historical level of reality and then the cultural and the social sits on top of that. And part of what I am wanting to suggest is that it might be more helpful to think about the relationship between the economic and the cultural and the social as partners in a rough dance rather than as these layers that are built on top of an economic foundation. And the, therefore the, the cultural level of um, how we relate to our economic lives, the lived experience which is hard to measure and doesn't show up in economic descriptions, may be more important than we've traditionally thought of it as being in terms of how change comes about. Um, and that... Um, Sorry, I'm going to have to report to you for a moment. Feel free to ask.